What's up everybody, it's your girl DJ Lala Haha ha, back with another video. Today's video is different than usual because you guys said you want to see more news. So I'm here reporting on Walmart. Basically, Walmart made a national service announcement that the broke boys keep hitting up all of their locations across the country and they can't keep up and they said that y'all are out of line if you don't stop they're gonna shut down locations or raise prices i'm kidding actually some of that is true but i feel like my supporters like i can't say you because you guys wouldn't do that i think but times are hard so if you are i'm not judging you but the real news is basically walmart ceo went on national television um theft is an issue it's higher than what has historically been and we've got safety measures security measures that we put in place by store location i think local law enforcement being staffed and being good, a good partner is, is part of that equation and that's normally how we approach it i'm gonna have some statistics throughout the video so that you can get an idea for how big the problem really is so what would you like to see what are the measures that from the walmart perspective and the business roundtable As it perspective to, oh, overall. And, and, yeah business roundtable perspective that you'd like to see policymakers yeah working it's, on right it's now. It's just policy consistency and clarity, you know, so that we can make capital investments with, with some vision. Good luck. That would be nice. Um. I'm not surprised because according to the National Retail Federation, um, organized retail crime is up 27%. And obviously that increase has been seen since COVID. Our economy has been fucked for a couple of years now and the cost of living just keeps going up but our pay isn't going up. People can't afford life. I'm, I'm not surprised that people are stealing. Um, and it's interesting coming from a multi-million dollar uh, corporation how they choose to handle this problem. Retailers like Target and um, other stores are also reporting issues. I think Target alone reported six million lost from smash and grabs, but obviously they're going about it in different ways. And I think that Walmart should do the same thing. It's kind of like a baby throwing a tantrum. You're like, I'm losing money. So if I don't stop losing money, I'm gonna shut down my locations and lose more money. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I think that they should be a little bit more empathetic to the consumers. I don't condone theft. Um, you know, I don't support that. I'm not saying go do that at all. I definitely think that this is a bigger problem though. And, and what happens is when things happen in the economy and it affects the people, these corporations don't have empathy for us they just increase whatever they need to increase so that they can make sure that they keep their profit margin and they say to hell with the rest of us i think that a lot of people are fed up with that and i think that a lot of people are taking their power back let me know how you guys feel about this comment below what do you think about this whole debacle how do you feel about the walmart stance or the ceo from walmart's stance on this problem let me know your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you never miss another video. And as always, until next time.